Hey everybody, how we doing today? Beautiful day here in the Florida Keys. I'm over here at my old school Geiger Key Launch. Uh, ready to head out and do some farting around. I uh, got a bit of a breeze coming out of the north and that's going to shift to the east. So that kind of makes the Atlantic side the, uh, the choice option. Uh, what I'm going to do today is to do a lot of bait checking. And that's one good sight right there is uh, mullet are back. So I saw some big mullet schools the last time I was out in the back country. So we got the mullet there. Pilchards are definitely around. Pilcher, uh, pinfish are always here. So that's a good thing. So uh, otherwise, we're going to go check out a few bait spots, check it out, out a few fishing spots, see what we can catch. Forgot my tackle boxes, but I got my uh, jig head box. I'm okay there, but I need to find some leader. So I think I'll walk around the dock here and just kind of pick some fishing line off the ground or something so I have some leader just in case. But otherwise, it's a beautiful day. Well, that's kind of nice. We've got pilchards right all along the watch there. They're in deep, but they're there, so that's a good sign. Well, I was able to spot a nice little blue crab walking around on the sand there, so I picked him up. So in case we see a bonefish or permit, that's a nice size there. Always good to find the blue crabs. So I found uh, pilchards and mullet here, so that's a good sign. So we're just going to keep working this flats and then along the edges there. See something over there running around. I think they're jacks. Not sure though. Oh, oh, there it goes. <laughs> Definitely not fighting like a bonefish. Man, it was hungry. I just saw some bodies just kind of swirling like there, running along that edge there. Yeah, the, what are those? Got to be jacks. There's a ton of little bait fish in here. Ah, it's coming up. Yeah, jacks. All his buddies are messing with him. They think he's got food. Or is that a shark? Oh, it's a shark chasing him. Little shark, smaller than that uh, jack. Oh, he's eating it. What a bastard. That other one's running, uh, blocking him. So that shark can't eat him. I'll save you if you just give up. And I'll let you go. Oh, stop it shark, stop it shark. You're not big enough to do that. All right, that chased him off. Woo, buddy. Fish smaller than you is gonna eat you. There we go, that's a nice jack on the flats. <laughs> Dang. I don't even think the water's as deep as his body is. All right, I'll let you go with your buddy. Well, that's not bad on the flats. Make sure you don't get uh, a bunch of uh, pilchers there, that's why. All right. Not the crab eater I was looking for, but that breaks the ice. Not a bad fight. Yeah, see this whole bottom is all nice sized pilchers. Really nice ones. That's why all those fish are running in here and all the sharks all over the place. This whole thing is just nice solid three inch uh, pilchards there. This place has got it all. That's a nice mullet school right through there. Crabs, mullet, pilchards. That's a big school of pilchards there. Just hanging out in any little depression, they're just packed in there. They're nice size ones. E body. Dang it, just saw a big snook right when I fired up my motor and just bam, bam, bam. You can see all the dust piles. I might hang around here to see if he comes back. Doubtful, but I'd like to get a shot at him. 
that damn thing came out again right when I was gonna fire up my motor and leave again it swam out ah uh, I think what I should do is maybe uh, oh, that one's a shark is maybe uh, pick up one of these pilchards and I think that's another shark ah uh, we'll see Oh, I think I got him. I don't think that's the shark. Pretty sure that's not the shark over there. I think that's a snook. Oh. That was him. That's him. He wasn't interested in that. I see you, buddy. He's wanting to come out and get those pilchards. <laughs> All right. Game on, buddy. I see you. That's a nice size one, too. There he is right there. Nice snook. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. It's right there. I need to go ahead and pick up some live pilchards. This will be right in front of his nose there. Ah. He's zoned in on those pilchards. Oh, <laughs> I hit him on the back. All right, that's not going to work. I need to get a pilchard. Oh, he's back in there again. All right, so we got a consistent pattern. I've seen him, and he's not afraid of me. So I've seen him four times popping out over this spot here. So I think I'm going to move up there or down there, cast net a few pilchards. And he's not actively chasing. So if he is actively chasing, then I'll throw the paddle tail into like where he's busting. But when he's just skirt along there, I've got my Cobra jig head. I'll nose hook a, a pilchard and just boom, throw it in front of him and just let it sit there like a kind of a struggling dying bait. Oh, all right, let's do this. Okay, so we've got all these pilchards here all waiting patiently for me. Just need a few, but they're pretty quick. Let me throw on them here real quick before we get too far out. Yeah, they're not even scared. That's good enough. Just need a few to flavor things up a bit. Perfect. Perfecto. Drop these guys in the bucket. Ah, look at those beauties. I'm actually not chumming, I'm just kind of reducing the amount of uh, pilchards I have in that bucket. Because that thing was all just full of pilchards, but uh, so I don't have to keep dumping water in them to keep them alive. And that cursed splash and a little bit of struggle doesn't hurt. Oh, look at this jack here. Ooh, nice size jack. Oh. All right, the rig that I'm going to be using for this snook if I see him again is because there's so much, oh, there's that jack, there's so much live bait. It's all pilchards all along the edge there. And they're just swimming around and uh, if a uh, fish comes at them, they just kind of disperse. So what I want to do is change things up. Originally, I would throw like a circle hook, no weight, just put it out there, let it free swim. But it looks like a million other fish. But with uh, using the little Cobra jig head, this is a two watt, the quarter ounce. 
and then I'm just gonna put it through the chin and out the uh, nostrils there. And that's what we're gonna do and what it's gonna allow me to do is cast a little bit farther, but also it's gonna pin it to the bottom. And that's gonna be a little bit of a different set and it's just gonna be struggling along the bottom there. And it's just kind of pinned there and that'll look like an injured or dying bait fish which will kind of change things up and then hopefully it'll go for it especially when it's slow cruising around this edge here um, it's not looking to waste a lot of energy chasing these things even though there's a million of them it's hard to catch them when there's so many because they just all disperse but if he finds one sitting on the bottom then uh, we might have a shot here one of these jacks right here Leave you alone. There's a little jack right there. Oh. Oh, I got him. I thought I was stuck on the tree. <laughs> he slurped that up big time. Yeah, these are some nice jacks. Man, he got some bones on him. <laughs> that was perfect. Still no snooks though. The water dropped, so. A lot of times, the vibration kind of gets everything interested. I talked about the uh, seasonal transitions and uh, these fish following the pilchard. So had that school of pilchards along here. So these jacks are just running up and down this edge, even though it's a uh, fairly shallow. But we'll be getting a lot of these guys inshore. The big kudas will be moving in, sharks. Then I'll start seeing the mackerels in the uh, channel. I look forward to that. I was going to uh, be uh, dumping a bunch of uh, pilchards out there every once in a while to just to check to see if they start showing up. Oh no, rod buster, line buster. There it goes. Yeah, this guy's a nice one. Don't break, don't break. Oh no! No! Dang it. Well, there he goes swimming with a gold four inch paddle tail and a one eight pounds of fish head jig head. Dang it! But I was more concerned of losing my leader since I don't have my tackle box and other leader. All right, that'll work though. Ah, the rig that I'm using to catch these jacks and then also waiting for that snook is uh, the first ones I was using was the uh, 1 8 ounce uh, fish head jig head but with the 3 aught hook, the lighter wire because most of the stuff is fine but I'm moving up to the 4 aught hook which is the uh, 2x strong mustad just because I am looking for that snook it might not matter because I only have 20 pound uh, uh, leader but then we're using the 4 uh, inch uh, gold paddle tail I'm just going to rig that up real quick and this hook is mighty, mighty durable, so it's not going to be bent or have to worry about that. So I can put as much weight as I can. Unfortunately, this leader will pop. But the snook are going to run right back into the gunk. Other fish, they'll come out, but snook are going to go right in there. So I got to do lockdown, drag down fighting. But we'll see. And the reason for the eighth ounce is that I want something that's very shallow. It's a foot and a half here. So I don't need anything that sinks. I don't want it to uh, bounce on the bottom, otherwise it can. But uh, I want to be able to get it and flick it underneath those mangroves and then keep it up towards the top because that's generally where the pilchards are. So try to match the hatch. Yeah, there you go. Check it out. My first Instagram post in probably over a year but it's a QS kayak fishing and one of my friends I just caught
Check it out. Thousand mullet right here. See if I could snag one. <laughs> oh, that's how you do it. Snag them. We can do that again. Oops. One. I think I got one. Yeah, baby. Mullet on the paddle tail. <laughs> That's the way we do it. Oh, oh, you're going to bleed all over me. Stop. There. Ah, success. <laughs> gotcha. I think I got a tail hooked or something else bit it. I don't think this is a mullet. Oh, yeah, it is. Just got him hooked funny. Bam! I am the mullet slayer. <laughs> You've been caught on a paddle tail, buddy. Swim be free. Ah, slaying them today. Fishies around here. Oh, something ate it. Oh. Well, they crunched that. That was fast. Messing with it. There we go. Oh, there we go. Schnappers. Little lane snapper. No, it's like a mutant, mutant snapper. There we go. Get out of there, get out of there. Get out of there. There we go, there's a nice snapper. That's not bad. There we go. You be eater. Oof, it's getting whacked over there. Let go of the cobra jig head. Can't keep it. Nice. Seen a couple of nice ones in this little pocket here. All these little ones though. There's some big boys in there. Oh, 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 get out of there. Get out, get out of there. Gah. Oh, you're not the big one. Not a bad one, but you're not my big one. Now that little pull in there. Alrighty, nice successful day of farting around fishing. Bent the rod quite a bit and uh, super happy to see all the uh, bait filling in. We got the mullet run starting, got pilchards up to the kneecaps and uh, looking like it's going to be a good fall season with all that bait. So with those jacks running in shore already, that's a good sign as well because everything else will follow. Um, I got me a date with that snook. 
now that I know where it's hanging out. So I got to figure out the tide schedule and times where I was at and so forth. So hopefully I could uh, get a good bait in front of his face and pull that guy in. So I'm do a snook. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you next video. Bye.